Welcome back everybody, as you can see the world generation has ended and before I continue with the next video I will show you the configuration file of Dwarf Fortress this will be immensely useful later on if you go to, do, to your Dwarf Fortress installation folder and then you go to the data init folder and then you can open the D, the d underscore init dot text file this is the configuration file where you can change several variables I will be showing you the ones that I've changed first of all the autosave option this was default no that means that the game will never be saved even if you play for several hours and then something unexpected happen happens your game crashes or your desktop crashes then you will lose all the progress in the game therefore I set auto save to yearly but you can also change it to seasonally if you want to there are some other options that are interesting you can turn off temperature for people who have a low-end computer or experiencing very low frames per second disabling the weather and the temperature might improve your frames per second so that might be a good idea if it's necessary uh, another important option is a set labor lists my preference is no that means that any immigrants that arrive to my fortress will not have any laborers um, enabled by default I think this is useful because it allows me more control over uh, which dwarves uh, do what labors but most importantly is the population cap and the baby child cap these two options allow you greater control over your fortress the population cap is default 200 that means that your fortress will have up to 200 individual dwarves at any uh, given time in the future this can slow down your game immensely I found that for my computer the population cap of 140 is uh, more than sufficient and still allows for a uh, half decent frames per second. The baby child cap has two variables. The first one is the absolute maximum which is default 100 and the second one is a percentage based of your uh, adult dwarfs. The default is 1000% which is completely meaningless because you will never have that many babies but I set mine to 10% um, then I think I'll make it even lower like 5% which means that out of every 20 dwarves there will only be one baby these babies are really not very useful it's more like a flavor um, it will take a long time for them to grow up to become adults and in the meantime they're just running in the way and if your dwarves have a lot of babies uh, for show you the different options that you have to customize your embark. I'll see you in the next video.